Milwaukee is the other big city on Lake Michigan. 90 miles north of Chicago, it's home to beer, the Bucks, and the Fawns. But these are not happy days. A violent weekend in Milwaukee. Milwaukee police are investigating three separate shootings. Six shootings, three dead, all in a single day outbreak of violence in Milwaukee. While Chicago had more total murders last year, on a per capita basis, Milwaukee outpaced the big city to the south, 37.6 per 100,000 people versus Chicago's 25.8. It's been three record-breaking years of bloodshed. Milwaukee funeral director Tom Morris says work has been busy, very busy. This year, how many homicide victims have you cared for? Probably close to 50. And how many of those have died from gunshot wounds? Every single one of them. Husband and father, 43-year-old Morris, says this is not the Milwaukee of his childhood. There were several times this last summer where I want to say um, seven out of 12 people that I prepared for burial were homicide due to, due to gunshot. Seven out of 12? Seven out of 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the number is staggering. You'd almost think you're in a war zone. All these guns out here. Milwaukee is home for Jasmine Clemens and her family. 16-year-old Jashan, her oldest son. Jashan was my bright child, my, my smart, quiet child. He, he was your inside child? He, that was my inside child. He was into his games and drawing, and then I pushed him like, you know, go make some friends, go outside. I pushed him out there a little bit. Sometimes I wish I would have just let him be what he was. Yes, baby, turn around. Turn around. On July 4th, Jashan went out in the late afternoon. The teenager who Jasmine says always made it home for his 11 p.m. curfew didn't this time. And I told my fiance, I'm like, hey, you know, that's not like him. Let's go around and look for him. So we drove around. But before that, my friend came at eight o'clock and told me that somebody was shot. To her horror, she would find out what happened to Jay Sean on Snapchat. Somebody had kept texting my 15 year old, asking, is Jay okay? Is Jay okay? And he kept asking them, like, why y'all keep saying that? And they stopped the video of my son. Shot the car. Just 15 years old, Jaquel Clemens was the first to see the video of his lifeless brother on Snapchat before showing it to his family. The idea that somebody took a video of your son after he had been shot. People are so cruel. I did not want to see that. Did and it's for their gain. It's for social media. It's for them. It's for clout. At the funeral home, Tom told Jasmine how many times Jay Sean had been shot after she noticed a gunshot wound to his neck. When she asked what we were looking at as far as number, I, I suggested probably close to 20 times. What was her reaction? Uh, immediately she fell to the ground, yeah. Uh, couldn't really stand to bear that news. When a mother sees those kinds of wounds mm -hmm. on her own flesh and blood, it's got to be brutal. It's hard for us to see that. As fellow human beings, uh, watching a mother have to experience, um, nobody should have to go through that. Jasmine later heard that the source of all those bullets that killed her son likely involved a switch. A relatively new, cheap device that transforms ordinary guns into machine guns, enabling them to fire a barrage of bullets with one pull of a trigger. I shot my son. That's overkill. He did not deserve it. 26 people were shot over the 4th of July weekend in Milwaukee, four, including Jay Sean, killed. It's slow motion mass murder. Cavalier Johnson is Milwaukee's mayor. Is this a question of laws or is it a question of culture where we don't value life? I think it's a little bit of both. It used to be that folks, if they had a disagreement, you know, you'd, you'd argue and then they would walk away. Um, worse than that, they would, they would get into a fist fight, right? And you'd have a bloody nose, but at least you'd live another day. Now, a simple disagreement uh, with a, a lack of uh, conflict resolution skills 
results in somebody pulling out a gun and shooting somebody. Gun violence has impacted your family. Your half-brother is facing gun possession charges. How has that impacted your view of gun violence in this city? I use my brother's example uh, when I'm out there talking about gun violence. Look, my brother is a felon. He's a felon. And before I got elected, he had shot somebody six times. He shot somebody six times, right? So he's exactly the person I'm talking about. And I love my brother, I do. But he shouldn't have his hand on a gun. Funeral director Tom Morris's hope is for business, specifically shootings, to slow down. If we could see what you see, how would that impact our attitude toward guns? That's a great question. More personal responsibility for, I feel, legal gun owners, uh, for sure. Um, I being one of them. You own a gun. I, I certainly do. I have a concealed carry license. Um, I, I exercise that right when I feel it's necessary. But I also take a personal responsibility and an interest in making sure when the guns are at home, they are locked up and secured and safe. This also is not Some four months after Jay Sean's death, no one has been arrested for his murder. But the symbols of his life live on. Where he took his last breaths, Jasmine has decorated a tree. In her hair are Jay Sean's braids, woven into her own. And around her neck, his ashes. Always on my mind, I love you forever. And uh, this one, it says, I'm always here with you, mama. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.